to the bottom of the sea. Starring Richard Basehart, David Hedison, Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. There's Duke chilling out. Hey boy. Hey boy, what you doing? He's a good boy. He's a good boy. I know. I know. Good boy. Oh, yeah. Hey good boy. What you doing? He's a good boy, yeah. Boy. <laughs> How you doing? Daisy. There's Daisy. Hey Daisy girl. Hey girl. Hey. How you guys doing? Yes, I know. I, 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 I know. All right, so here's our next little issue. Um, this submarine comes not only with the flying sub, but it also comes with a diving bell, and it comes with a uh, with a mini sub. And uh, here's the hatch for the diving bell. And I'm already starting to work to cut this this thing out. So, because I want to be able to show this uh, display to open with a diving bell. Um, descending from the bottom of the sea view. Now, here's the issue. On the inside here, there's a couple things. Number one is here is a locating pin uh, for these whole halves to go together. And that's kind of the wrong place for what I want to do here because I want to show this door open. And so this would be much better if it were over here or over here. So when they designed this, they didn't really consider that. You know, if they would have given it to a modeler and said, "Build this," and you know, what are people likely to do? Um, then I'm sure you know someone would have said something to them about that. The other thing is these ribs right here. Um, this model is very, very thick, robust plastic, and one of the reasons why is because it was designed to appeal to radio control modelers. So this ribbing here, the structure ribbing that you see in here, is designed to house a radio control submarine um, ballast assembly and uh, electronics package. And uh, that's all great, uh, that's fine, but it's just one more thing I've got to deal with um, when I'm trying to build up this as a diving bell, you know, bay. No big deal, just wanted to point it out. A couple things here. Um, you can see I've got the sheet styrene in behind where the limber holes are supposed to go. And when I put on the photo etched brass piece, then that'll look good. And uh, I've also got flying sub bay uh, built out with scratched plastic. I still have to do some sanding in there. So that looks good. So all good there. Uh, this gray and white you see is kind of a, a combination of, uh, of a squadron white and a paste mix and also to my basic gray and a paste mix. Just in some experimentation. The, to my basic gray is a, is a harder putty, and sometimes um, when you're trying to trying to finish things out, um, it's more of a, of a finishing putty than we than for big gaps. And then we come to this. Now, this is the Cadillac fin assembly, and uh, if you look at this, you can see there are some grooves here, and uh, also there's a channel here for fiber optic cable. The grooves are there for locating and that's to locate these bars. Okay. Now the concern is if you flip this over um, you might be able to see this. If you look in the light you'll see that there's a slight depression here where the fiber optic cable is supposed to go and also here where this locating bar is molded. What's well, worse on the other side these areas here are hollow for the locating bars. And if you flip this over, and I've already filled these in, but, but I had these little depressions all where these um, molded areas were. So I put some um, some uh, putty in here. This Again, this is to my basic gray thinned out with acetone. And I'll come back and I'll sand this, and you should be able to um, see where the low areas were, and that should take care of that problem. So there you go. And then uh, last thing, 
Uh, this is the lower forward hull assembly with the flying subbay. And uh, if you look at the series, you know, when you look at the sub and they usually have the flying sub launching from sort of this angle, there's a kind of a, a loose lighting, red lighting back here. And they probably have a, a light in the front uh, shining back here and it's sort of sort of loose on the back and that gives it some color, it looks good. But um, I don't really want to do that. I don't, I don't want to put a LED or anything up here. I might. I don't know. I'll have to think about it a little bit. But one of the things that I was thinking about doing <clears throat> was um, putting some fiber optic cables in here and just having a, a red LED um, with these fiber optic cables come through here and sort of lighting up the, the entire bay sort of in, indirectly. So I don't know. I'll have to think about that a little bit more. We'll see. I might just make it simple and go with an LED up here and have it sort of shining back there. And uh, that'll be that'll be fine too. I haven't made up my mind yet. We'll see.